It's a much bigger battle than scientists expected because Hawke's Bay Gardens have been found to be a happy haven for Apple Orchard's number one enemy, codling moth. The pest loves worming its way into fruit and, if eradicated, New Zealand growers could easily access premium overseas markets. So we've done a study where we went to people's houses and we asked them a few questions about how they felt about some of the things we were interested in and biosecurity and, and that sort of thing with cuddling moth as well. And if they had a, a, an apple tree especially, we asked whether they, they would mind us hanging a trap there. And people said, okay, yeah, mostly everybody said fine, put the traps out. And what you can see there behind me is some of the results from that study, where we actually found cuddling moths pretty much over the whole of Hastings. Was that surprising? I think what was a bit surprising was that it was five times higher than in the orchards. You know, in the, in the, the bottom left corner of, of the shot there, you can see the green of the orchards there, and the, the blue blobs over there are some of the other host trees, like walnuts, which also have cuddling moths in them. But the orchards are essentially solid hosts, but they have things like the sex pheromone treatment, which stops insects from mating. So the cuddling moths are, are you know, more scarce in the orchard area than they are in the town nearby by five times. The 200 traps laid in Hastings suburbs used a sex pheromone to catch amorous males. But a more successful trial in central Hawke's Bay used millions of sterilised moths to lessen the chance of reproduction slashing the population by 98%. Dyed pink for easy identification when popped, they were bred in Canada and dropped by the millions from a low-flying drone over orchards. But for codling moth to be completely eradicated from the Heratonga Plains, a much larger program will be required than the drone program in Central Hawke's Bay. The program would require buy-in from residents who would face a deluge of moths raining down from low-flying drones. Our student from the University of Auckland uh, did the house-to-house -house, uh, household surveys and she found overwhelming support for what we were talking about, with even drones releasing the insects. The concerns that came up um, from the drones in particular was they didn't want to have cameras looking down at them. People don't want that. We know that. We accept that. I think that's fair. Plant and Food Research is collecting data to present a business case to growers. It could include a breeding program for cost effectiveness and security of supply of the sterile insects. Suckling says the breeding program could also pivot to breed other sterile insects should New Zealand's biosecurity be breached by another unwanted pest. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.